Hello guys, this is Vaseem from Edureka and I welcome you all to this session where I'll be talking about while loops in Python. Before moving on, let's take a look at the agenda for this session. So first of all, I will discuss what are while loops in Python and then I will tell you about the syntax and flow control in a while loop. Moving further, I will discuss control statements and conditional statements in a while loop and finally, I will sum up this session with various examples. I hope you guys are clear with the agenda and I suggest you to subscribe to Edureka for more exciting tutorials and also press the bell icon for latest updates from Edureka. Without wasting any more time, let's try to understand what are while loops in Python. A while loop in Python is used to iterate over a block of codes or statements as long as the test expression is true. A user have no idea about the number of iterations that will take place during the execution. It can be used in problems where a condition or an expression needs to be satisfied in order to execute multiple statements. For example, imagine getting financial reports of the customers in a bank from year 2000 to 2010. So we can put an expression testing if the year is in fact between 2000 and 2010. And then the execution will move to the loop and calculate the report from the relevant statements that we have put inside a loop. So now that we know what exactly is a while loop, Let's take a look at a simple example to understand the syntax. But before that, let's also discuss the flow of control using the flowchart guys. So the execution starts and it will check if the test expression is true or false. If it is false, it will exit the loop. And if it is true, it will go to the body of while and execute the statements that we have provided. Now let's take a look at the syntax as well. As you can see, we have a while loop which has a test expression. So first of all, the test expression has to be true. Only then the execution will move to the body of Y. And inside the body of Y, we will have various statements that I'm going to show you while working on an example, guys. So now that we are done with the flow of control in a while loop, let's take a look at how we can use control statements in a while loop. Now we're in PyCharm, guys. I'm using the presentation mode to make it more visible to you guys. So what I'm going to do is I'll just mention a variable. Let's say i is equal to 1. And then I will have a while keyword and I will provide the test expression, which is going to be as long as I is less than, let's say, five, I am going to print I. So I am providing this increment operator as well. So each time the execution moves through the loop, it is going to have a different value. So when I execute this, you can see that the output is one, two, three, and four. So this is my test expression, guys. I'll just add is equal to also. So as soon as the value of I reaches more than five, which is going to be six the test expression will become false and the execution will move out of the loop. So this is a very simple example guys. This is how you can actually use while loop and now talking about Python control statements. So we can also use Python control statements in a while loop. So there are basically two control statements which is break and continue. So break is basically a control statement which is when encountered in a loop will skip the remaining iterations and will move the execution out of the loop. And similarly, continue is also doing the same thing, but there is one difference, guys. When we encounter continue in a loop, the current iteration will be skipped, but rest of the iterations will still be executed. So these are the control statements, guys. And we will also look at the example showing you the function of these two control statements. But before that, let's also talk about Python conditional statements, guys. So conditional statements are decision making statements like if, else, and else if, which is also written as elif in Python, guys. So these statements have a test expression just like a while loop guys. So as soon as the statement is true, the execution will move inside the blocks of let's say if or else statements. And when it is false, it will move the execution to the next block. So now let's take a look at an example to understand how control and conditional statements work in a while loop guys. So let's take it up to PyCharm again. Let me remove all this. So what I'll do is I'll just take one variable, give it a value, let's say one. And now while x is less than is equal to five, I am going to print x and also mention the increment operator so that we don't have an infinite loop, guys. So I'll be showing you about infinite loop as well. So when I run this, the output is I have an identation error. So we'll just remove the idents. So when I run this now, I have the output as 1, 2, 3, and 4, and 5 as well. So to show you the working of break statement, I'll just mention conditional statement. So if x is equal to, let's say, 3, what I'm going to do is I'll just break from here and let's see what the output will be. So I have one, two and three. So as soon as the break statement is encountered in a loop, so we have conditional statement. So as soon as X is equal to three, it will go inside this block, which is having this break statement and it will exit the loop guys. So this is how you use a break statement inside while loop. 
and now to show you how you can use continue so I have just moved this statement from here and now I'll write continue and in the else statement I will just write print x and give it one more which is x is equal to x plus one now let's see what happens guys okay we have two print statements so I'll just remove this one now when I print this again as you can see I'm getting the output as one two four and five the condition that is the if statement is true for the statement when x is equal to 3 and for that we have a continue statement so the execution will skip this iteration and instead we'll move to the next one so this is how we can use a continue statement and with this example i have shown you how you can use the if and else statements as well inside a while loop guys so now that we are done with this one let's move to the next topic that we have which is an infinite while loop so what exactly is an infinite while loop guys so infinite while loop is when the execution does not stop what it means is the execution will go on forever like we'll have infinite iterations because we already discussed that when we are using a while loop we do not actually know how many iterations are going to happen so when you miss or when you don't give an increment operator for the test expression variable what happens is the execution will go on forever so let's just take an example guys so let's say my i is equal to let's say one and then I have a condition that say I has to be greater than zero and for this I want to print I okay let's say I want it to be less than 10 so ideally looking at this program it should stop when the value becomes 9 or exceeding the value of 10 but we don't have any increment operator over here so let's just run this and see what the output will be so as you can see I'm getting this infinite loop going on which has a value 1 only because we do not have any increment operator over here so I'll just stop this so instead to actually get rid of this problem I'll just write i plus is equal to 1 so what happens now it will go until 9 and as soon as value is 10 it will exit the loop because the test expression will be false so this is how you can write an infinite while loop guys it has its own advantages and disadvantages guys so if you want a loop to go on forever you can just write an infinite while loop and if you don't want that just give it an increment operator and your problem will be solved so now let's talk about the next one that we have which is a nested while loop guys so basically nested while loop is when you declare a while loop or any other loop inside a while loop guys so this concept of nested while loop actually looks a little tricky but in fact it's very easy to learn guys so i'll just take it to pycharm and show you the example where we can write a nested while loop so ideally talking about nested loops let's say i have this while loop so to make it a nested while loop what i'll do is i'll just write one more statement giving let's say i has to be less than five so first of all it will check if i is less than 10 and then it will also check if i is less than 5 then what happens is it will move into this block and it will print the value of i and i'll give it a increment operator as well so let's see what happens when i run this okay i have not given any value so let's say i want this value from the user so just write int input and let's say enter a number now what happens is let's run this so i have to enter a number so it has to be less than 10 to actually go inside the loop so if i give 11 there's no result so let's run this again so when i give the number let's say 10 again it's not going to do anything because it is actually not less than 10 so when i is less than 10 and also when i is okay let's say if i want this to be equal to 5 i have to enter a number let's say 5 only so i'm getting the value as 5 guys so this is how you can write a nested while loop so let's take a look at a rather complex while loop program guys where we'll be using nested while statements so what i'll do is i'll just take two variables let's say i which is equal to let's say zero and j should be equal to let's say five now i have to give a test expression so while i is less than six and while j is greater than zero so what i'll do is i'll just print i and j and give it a increment operator as well guys i plus one and j is equal to j minus 1 so let's see what happens here so I am getting the value as 0 5 1 4 2 3 3 2 and 4 1 so the purpose of showing you this example is actually to get to know you about how you can use a while loop inside a while loop so we have two variables we have two test expressions and then we have these statements inside the while loop guys so what is happening is we have the value of i is equal to 0 first of all so it is printing 0 and the initial value of j is equal to 5 so this is our output and then while moving into the loop we have 1 and 4 and similarly we reach 4 and 1 so as soon as the value of j is reaching 0 it's going to end the loop or it's going to say that the test expression is false so that's why it's not moving inside the statements to print these statements so this is how you can write a while loop inside a while loop guys 
to show you the working of nested loops let's take another example guys so instead of zero now let's take a string guys so what i'll do is i'll just take the value of j is equal to one and while j is greater than zero so in this example instead of a while loop let's just use another loop which is a for loop guys so for let's say i in x we want to print x guys so let's see what the output is okay let's run this now so now that we have done this we are having an infinite loop where the output is eddie reka again and again so what i'll do is i'll just write j over here and we want j and i so let's run this again guys okay we are getting the output like this now we still have an infinite loop so let's just get rid of this to stop this from being an infinite loop what i'll do is i'll just write one more statement so let's say if x is equal to a which is the ending string of our variable over there so we'll just break so let's see what happens now we have missed the semicolon okay now i'm getting a value like this guys now this one more thing i should do so i'll just uh, increment the value of j as well okay so we are getting the values like one two three four five six six seven but we are not getting the value of the string like this so let's do one more thing guys okay so what i will do here is instead of less than zero let's take it as less than eight and over here we have added the break statement as well so let's run this now and we're getting the output as one two three four five six seven and a dreka separately this is how you can use a for loop inside a while loop guys so this is an example of using a nested loop or you can say nested while loop so i hope you guys are clear with the concept of while loop in python guys and if you have any questions you can mention them in the comment sections and our team will be happy to get back to you as soon as possible and also i suggest you to subscribe to edureka for more exciting tutorials and also press the bell icon to get the latest updates from edureka thank you i hope you have enjoyed listening to this video please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries and we will reply them at the earliest do look out for more videos in our playlist and subscribe to edureka channel to learn more happy learning